Hi, my name is Evan Dom. I'm a web cartoonist and illustrator. I've done a number of large fantasy adventure graphic novels set in a world called Overside. They're sort of colorful, surreal takes on the epic quests type stories. Uh, Rice Boy and Vatu and Order of Tales are the ones that I've done. And I've also, I recently illustrated The Wizard of Oz, the original novel, and I do a lot of illustration on the side. Rice Boy was my first major comic. It's a sort of a sprawling, meandering, psychedelic odyssey. It's about a little character with no arms and legs who's selected by a immortal magic robot to fulfill a prophecy. He goes through a ton of like different trials and tribulations and tries to fulfill a prophecy that nobody really understands. Rice Boy, I started in 2006 and it was kind of just a repository for a bunch of visual ideas I've had and I put it in this loose kind of like epic journey prophecy end of the world framework. Ending up with this sort of sense of a, a world and a history, I wanted to explore that in a more controlled way. So Order of Tales ended up being in opposition to Rice Boy in a lot of ways, so I went in the opposite extreme and made it totally black and white and made it more about like texture and value and I feel like I learned a lot doing that and also it lends a kind of shadowy gravity to that whole story that I like and I did it with an intense focus on like character and historical consequence. Order of Tales is a much more like straightforward hero's journey story. It's about the last member of a society of storytellers as he's uh, involved in this journey to kill an evil king. It deals with the dense history of Overside and sort of the interlocking histories of the different people. The characters in Order of Tales are mostly centered around this sort of mythical ancient society of storytellers. The main character is this character called Cork, who's this sort of um, displaced heir to this storytelling empire and it being a story that's so consciously like about stories I felt like that was the way to approach it and that's a way to make the pretty straightforward like hero's journey to kill a bad guy type story a little bit interesting and metatextual as you can make it about sort of exploring the world through stories and exploring how those stories show worldviews. I read Lord of the Rings when I was like 19 for the first time right before I started sort of planning and putting together Order of Tales, so it's definitely like, you know, Lord of the Rings got to some visceral part of me. Like, it's so perfectly, elaborately escapist, and that really appeals to me, and that was... I feel like a lot of what I wanted to do with Order of Tales was, let, was make a, a powerful sense of place to it, and something a little more grounded than the, the Rice Boy aesthetic. Vatu Vatu is the thing that I'm doing now, so it's the thing that I think is the best work that I've done. And Vatu is formatted kind of as a biography of a girl from a nomadic society who's abducted by a Roman Empire type civilization. And it explores her uh, involvement in that clash of cultures and also a bunch of different cultures and how they interact in the Empire itself. I've tried to really explore ideas of cultural identity and how it's constructed in various ways and so there's many many different sort of interlocking cultures that keep being introduced into this empire but uh, it, it's become a really interesting way for me to explore ideas of like how identity is constructed how it's imposed on us and how like we even by defying it participate in, in it and um, I'm, I'm trying to be conscious in a feminist way with this book because I feel like that's something I've not been so good at in the past and it's something that comics as a whole are abysmally bad at. The main setting of Vatu is this empire that's rigidly fundamentalist and patriarchal and anything that's set in a setting like that I feel like you have to explore in a feminist way in the modern world. It, it, it wasn't that these were conscious decisions with that story, it's more that they emerged as I went along as things that could be emphasized and could be sort of built into the fabric of the story more and more. I don't know, with Vatu I've, I've always been trying to walk the line between like planning the whole thing out and knowing how it all fits together but still leaving myself room to sort of make those connections and emphasize those themes that I'm not aware of at first. Vatu feels like a totally different thing to me because I, I sort of consciously brought it away from 
the same characters and settings, but it still takes place in the same world. And more than the other ones, I'm not relying on like a template story. Like it's not a hero's journey, it's not a quest with a war. It's a very personal kind of biographical thing. I don't know, it just feels more like me. It's more idiosyncratic of a story and I'm, I'm more invested in it personally. Vatu is still a huge project that has several more years, so I am going to do that as well as I can. Um, my next big sort of side thing, probably, I'm going to illustrate Moby Dick. I'm going to do like a series of illustrations and publish it the way that I did with The Wizard of Oz. I would like to do more stuff like that. I would like to do more huge good comics as well as I can. That's all that I've really got and I want to maintain as much creative control as possible so self-publishing is where I I want to just make that as sustainable as I can for myself basically but I don't have a I don't really have big specific plans. I want to do the work that I'm doing now as well as I can. That's the main thing. Thank you for watching Beyond the Long Box. If you enjoy the show or would like to see more, please hit subscribe and we'll continue to bring you the best in comics. Worship me! Well, I love having total control of the book design process and for the Overside books I really like having no text on the covers at all and just having them sort of emphasizing that escapist, like, otherworldly quality. In the storytelling itself, I'm really interested in dropping a person in a setting and letting the story make sense to them, like not really overtly explaining anything. And I feel like I try to let that be the philosophy for the covers too. Like you just sort of dropped in and hopefully you want to look at the book, but there's no real explanation of what it is. And then um, I do like fancy hard covers for most of my books, like a limited edition hardcover version. So this is Order of Tales. Uh, you sort of see. And this is the first part of Vatu. And this is my new uh, illustrated Wizard of Oz. It has 24 full page illustrations like that. And then a lot of little ones too. And I think that's very nice. Those are books. <clears throat> I feel like being near the park is very important to me and it fits into my process kind of like I do a lot of writing in my head while I'm walking around in the park and I like having a dog that's an excuse to go there every day and she's great look at her <laughs> she's tired I woke her up sorry <laughs> <laughs>